Timing is very critical in every aspect of applying inputs. And I think about the new FET Rogator high clearance machine, what that means for a grower. I have that capability with the machine to apply product throughout the season. And I have the control as a grower to do that at my mercy, you know, when the application needs to be done. So some of the problems that solves with our customers, if you look at the complexity of the offerings of some of the competitors, uh, it's pretty high. And with this new machine, we've tried to keep everything on the same platform. Um, so it's configurable. It's the same base machine, the same base frame and everything. And you can configure it how you'd like, depending on the customer needs and the budget. So with this new machine, with, with the different positions of clearances that we have, the, the, the options in the cooling package, the options in the systems, the options in the, the tires, you can start an uh, early season application, go to a pre-emerge, a post-emerge, you can late season, uh, late season nitrogen application, fungicides, and then you can follow it up with a fall application as well. It kind of gives the operator uh, the option to use this machine year round. We utilize the uh, AGCO AMPIP process, which is the uh, AGCO major product introduction process. And uh, that really consists of starting out with a, 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 an initial study of what the need is, and then um, you know, roll into a analysis of a uh, early business case. For items such as the suspension or the lift system on this machine, that's a napkin sketch. That literally started probably five and a half years ago, maybe more, on a sheet of paper. Just what can we do with this? And I remember many whiteboard drawings and items like that. And one of my engineers, who's actually the project lead for this project, he acquired about a dozen patents that came out of those that brainstorming operation. Then we get, get into a lot more of the virtual uh, simulation type work. So stress analysis, uh, which is finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics for cooling and airflow in the booms, um, multi-body dynamics. Uh, we can now take a, a rogator on the computer and virtually drive it through a field and, and get load acquisition so we can properly assess that. Um, and then good old hand calculations as well, we do a lot of those still. Um, and then that really is kind of where we uh, hand that off to, to lab and field tests to perform real world validation. We've tested in Ohio, we've tested in Illinois, we've tested in Arkansas, tested in Florida, tested in Texas, tested in Washington State, tested in Nebraska, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Oklahoma. So it's been a long journey. Uh, been very exciting. It's probably the, the largest um, update to the product since we launched it back in 93. We really started from the ground up with a new tire offering. Um, we offer 80 inch diameter tires now. We offer the widest tire we've ever offered in flotation. Those are coupled to a new fender design. Um, maybe one of the smaller contributions, but it's, it's a new fender design that uh, wraps the tire better, provides more nozzle protection, it's easily swappable. That hooks into our brand new suspension, uh, which is a brand new independent strut suspension with two working positions, standard clearance and high clearance. That suspension hooks into the frame, it's a brand new frame. We've kept our C-channel flex frame from uh, the past years. Uh, it works well, it helps our customers get out of situations they need to get out of and flex over terrain. That's, that's all pretty much new from the ground up. Um, with that, all the components that we set on the frame, it's got a brand new engine, uh, it's got less components, more reliability, it's a new cooling package with a reversible fan to help keep that radiator clean, uh, running through tall crops. Sitting on top of that's a brand new hood, uh, it's new styling, pretty aggressive styling, paired with the new styling of the cab, so that not only is it a new cab uh, styling, it's a new operator environment, better fit and finish. Um, trying to keep our operators comfortable during their working day. We, we know they put in long hours, so we want to keep them comfortable. On the back side of the engine is a brand, brand new hydraulic pump stack. Um, so we've gone back to the liquid or combo uh, pump stack, and we've greatly improved the combo ability of the machine. You should be able to swap this machine from a dry system to a liquid system in a couple hours now. Then the important pieces that sit on the frame are the systems. So we, we've reused uh, quite a bit of the liquid system. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Our liquid logic works pretty well. And uh, we have um, basically stretched the frame so the, the, the liquid system's a little bit longer. 
gives the operator more area to get back and, and work on the things they need to work on. We have a more robust tree design now, and we also have a, a brand new boom hinge design that should make the booms more reliable. And the boom tip design uh, is redesigned ge geometrically uh, to work better and also come back better. We have a brand new spinner lineup in, in the new leader boxes, um, brand new uh, lineup there. And then uh, we are also offering the R1, R2 Air Max that we've had the last couple of years. And we've made improvements to that as well in a new micro bin so that our customers can uh, apply their granular products as needed. It definitely lives up to Grow Bold because of the comments we're getting from from retailers and growers that have ran this machine. So I just had a recent uh, conversation with a farmer in Southern Illinois that he was first time using this machine and he was very impressed with the fact that by the time he looked at his monitor changes rate for the next field, the machine was in the tall position ready to spray. By the time he got his booms folded out, he's ready to spray tall corn. When he finishes, by the time he's done looking at a few other things, pushes the button, he's in the down position ready to road the machine to the next field and, and again, same cycle, two to three minutes later, he's in the high position ready to spray the next field. Once you see this machine roll up to you or just drive by you, you'll understand what bold is. It's intimidating. It makes people change the what they're looking at, what they're thinking about sprayers. It's going to come after them. We like to think it's the big bad sprayer on the market. We're coming out there. We used to be the big boys. We're going to take it back. <laughs>